Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi and welcome. My name's Emma and today I've just sorted through my bedroom and made it look a bit more autumnal. Um, so I thought I would share that with you all. Um, at the moment, I still live at home. I'm currently saving for a house. Um, so all I have at the moment to dress up is my bedroom. Um, and I know quite a few people might be in the same boat as me and want to decorate. So I thought I would show you how I've done it. Um, see if you can get some ideas or anything like that. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. And if you do enjoy the video, please do remember to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll just jump straight into the video. So I will start off with my dressing table. So I have three mirrors on my dressing table and I've just put some lights all the way around them. And the lights were actually from Ikea and they were only £12 and they are actually mains operated as well. Um, I'll just go closer so you can have a proper look. So there's some cute little pom-pom lights here and if you wanted to you could like poof them out a bit more but yeah I just think these are really cute I have a little mirrored butterfly from years ago still on my mirror and um, but yeah just for some extra light I put them pom-poms on and um, and then on my dressing table I have this silver glittery pumpkin here which is from Home Bargains I can't remember the exact price. I remember it was less than a pound. It was either 89 or 99 pence. Um, but I did actually haul these in a previous video. And they still do sell them. So they do them in a black colour, an orange colour and a silver colour. And they are actually quite big too. Um, but the glitter does go everywhere. So just keep that in mind. And this little pumpkin here... I actually just recently bought from Palmland and they do do a few pumpkins at the moment um, so this one's just a white one with a black stalk and it says hey pumpkin and I just thought them two looked really cute together and then I also have a little owl candle here um, which I'm actually not sure where it's from or how much it was for because it was a gift um, but I'm pretty sure if you did type in on Google, um, Owl Candle, something similar will come up. I'll try and link similar down below in the description box for you guys. Um, but it's just a nice little candle. And I've just popped him there to add a bit more colour. Um, and plus I like to group things in threes. And I just think the silver matches my other silver things. So my silver photo frame. Um, clock and my mirrors and then at the side of my dressing table I have a nice little candle here which is gingerbread cookie which is from B&M for £3 and this is actually not going to be burnt I don't think anytime soon I am just going to be using it for for sure for decoration because the glass is really really nice on it um, and I've just put my little graduation owl next to it just because I didn't have anywhere else to put him really. And I just think he looks quite cute next to the candle. So if I move on to my bedside tables which is our uh, The Mom collection from Ikea. I've just put another candle there. So this one is the red candle from b &M. It's just got a lovely red bow here. Um, so this one I've just turned the bow around because the scent is actually winter spice um, but this was £3 as well so I'm just going to hide the label, put the pumpkin back. Um, next to the candle I have a cute little glittery pumpkin which is also from B&M for £1.50 and I just think it looks really cute orange and red together. And then here I just have a eye mask which is a silk one from jasmine silk and um, i've just started using this i've only used it for one night so far but honestly it blocked all of the light out and it felt so so soft so i just have this so i don't forget to use it and then i just have my peony flower here which is in a kind of perfume bottle again this is from B&M and it was five pound and it's just in a lovely pink colour 
um, simply because I put that there because I didn't want to put it away. I kind of want to use it still and I think it looks alright with the rest of the things on there. So moving on to my other bedside table, I have a orange glittery pumpkin here which is from Home Bargains. It's exactly the same as a silver one, just an orange. And I have another orange glittery pumpkin from B&M for £1.50. And I've just put some cute little wooden mice with them. So these little guys are I bought from York Christmas Market. Um, and the person who sells them has been there for the past two years. And... Honestly, I was going to go back this year for more because they're just so, so adorable. Um, so that was a small one and that's a bigger one. And they were only £2 each, which I thought wasn't too bad. It's not too pricey. But with COVID, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get down to the Christmas market or if it will even be on to be able to buy some more of these little guys. Um, but I have been having a look online and I found some here at Amazon, but you get three different mice, the small, medium and large, for about £7. So I might get my hands on that, so if you did want the mice, um, you can definitely get them online if you can't get down to York Market. So yeah, these I just think are really cute and you could use them all year round, especially if you have like a cute little farmhouse kind of kitchen or something. Just dotting these around I think will look really cute. Or a utility room, you know, anything like that. And again, at the back, I just have my white peony in the little perfume bottle, which again is from B&M for £5. Because again, I just didn't want to store it anywhere. So this is what my bed looks like and the bedside tables. Honestly this year I think it looks so so cute. Um, so at the bottom of my bed I have a orange throw here. Well it's actually rust colour so a mix between orange and brown. And this is in a faux fur kind of material. And it was from B&M for £15. And um, So I've just popped it at the bottom of my bed because I think it looks quite cute. Um, this is actually another throw, um, simply because I don't have any bedding that's a bit autumnal. Usually I just go for grey colours because my room is grey. Um, but this throw is like a crushed kind of velvet and it's like a champagne kind of colour. And it was from, it was from Home Bargains actually. Again, I can't remember the price because I did buy it last year just before Christmas. But they did do the whole range. They had the matching curtains and the cushions. So I did actually get the whole range. I have the cushions to match the orange throw at the bottom. Well, the rust one, sorry. And these were also from B&M. And I believe they were £8. Um, but I will include a haul later on. Probably tomorrow. And... Behind it, this one, I have the crushed velvet cushion there and then this one in front of it. So this one is just a fairy one from Home Bargains. And then I have another rust coloured one here. And I just think they look really, really nice together. And then I've actually recently bought these leaf lights from eBay. And they do have it on Amazon as well, but eBay I do have an account and it was cheaper on there. Um, so I've just wound them round my metal bed frame. And honestly I think they are so, so cute, especially for the autumn time. And if you actually have a look, if I mission over the other side of the bed, um, they are battery operated and you can have them twinkling if you want so you can have them still or twinkling for me I probably will keep them still because that will do my head in so oh wrong way there I'll just have them still like that but I think I picked these up for £3.99 from eBay and quite a few people on eBay are selling these lights so definitely won't have to go hunting for long for these you'll find them straight away so yeah that is my autumn themed bed at the moment 
and I will probably be changing up for Halloween time a little bit and for Christmas I cannot wait to be able to do my bed for Christmas and um, just for the nice fluffy bedding oh, I love it and um, so I'll move on to my drawers now for you so on my main mom drawers here I have my facial brush here which I use every day it's just in a lovely rose gold kind of colour so I just keep it there just for convenience and behind it is a little bag with all of the brush heads in and oh I've got it from Aldi <laughs> there it's just got all of the brush heads in I've kept this just to remember which head is for what and that just goes there and I use that every day like I've already said um, here I have a little wicker basket which I think is so so cute and um, you could definitely get these online if you wanted one um, but I got these from Trevor Greens last year um, just because I really like them really um, inside I've just put a nice orange kind of peachy scarf down the bottom and on top I've put some products so these products are ones that I want to use up this month because usually I get loads of um, like bath things, body things for birthdays and Christmas and I put them away I'm like I'll leave them for special because they're so so nice and then special it'll, it never comes so I'm just going to use them special is every day now it's got to be so these are the Sanctuary Spa, so I've got some body butter there, some little cute nail files, I have some hand cream to use up, uh, some bath foam here, uh, this is some body lotion from Sanctuary Spa, some body scrub and then some body wash as well. And this here is actually from Wilkinson's. I believe it's their own make. And it's just some hand lotion, lemon and black pepper. I don't actually think their Sanctuary Spa says a scent. Like what kind of scent it is. No, it doesn't. But honestly, they do smell really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use these up. If I can get that there. So I'm going to use these up and um, I just have them out so I don't forget to use them. And next to it is a cute little gingerbread rediffuser. These are so, so strong here. And it's actually from Home Bargains. And they're really, really cheap and they last such a long time. And the gingerbread scent is actually one of my favourites. Closely followed by... Um, I think it was called strawberry cheesecake oh, that smelt amazing honestly if I could get my hands on that again I don't think they had them in this year so I was really upset about that but yeah they have gingerbread in so I think I'll forgive them for not having the other one in and next the reed diffuser bit of a fire hazard here I guess is a gingerbread candle and this one is also from home bargains it's just a Wickford and co range um, and it burns for 95 hours in total. These I stock up on every year because they're my favourite, favourite candle. If you love gingerbread, definitely go for the Home Bargains one because honestly the scent is so, so strong. It's so nice. I have this burning in my bedroom and even with the door closed you can smell it all the way like downstairs when you open up the sitting room door. Honestly definitely go and try this out it is amazing and god help me if they discontinue this line because i will i don't think i could ever get over it because it's my favorite one but yeah so this i have for having this gingerbread smell during the day like all day long just to keep my room smelling nice and then on the night time when i have my lights off movies on my leaf lights on i will burn this candle here now, I'm not sure how much the rediffuser was because I bought this last year. 
but I know the candle is definitely £2.99 so I don't think that's going to be shy off that amount and um, I think it's going to be around about that amount as well and um, but yeah for £2.99 it's a massive candle especially if you consider that you pay a lot lot more for the Yankee Candle one So that is my autumn themed bedroom for you guys. I know I haven't put much out or changed much, um, but I do only have the one bedroom. So I didn't want to go really, really far with it. Um, but hopefully you have enjoyed it and got some tips for your bedrooms or your kitchens, your sitting rooms, any room in your house really. And if you have enjoyed it, please do remember to give me a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I think I'm going to be filming a B&M haul and a Palmland one for use. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on them. And for now, I'll leave it there. So enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye.